Chef Pennington here. Today is potato souffle day, also known as palm souffle. This is a very easy dish. It's got a fancy name. We're going to use some gouda and some parmesan cheese we all love. And we're going to use some simple ingredients like chives, some eggs, and some half and half, and a potato. And we're going to make something amazing out of it. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to use a russet potato. We like russets because they have a good bit of starch in them and they hold up nicely. We're going to cook them easy in the microwave. You could throw them in the oven, wrapped in aluminum foil for about 30 minutes at 400. So here's our ingredients. So we're going to take some high-quality butter, some garlic which we all love garlic, plus garlic's good for us. Potatoes and garlic are just a, a classic pairing. And some half and half. Half and half is whole milk and heavy cream. So heavy cream, we like that. It's umptuous. And what we're going to do is we're really trying to cook the garlic. That's why we're, we're pre-cooking it like this. And you can smell it. It's got a little bit of a nutty aroma once it's cooked and it just doesn't have that raw garlic smell anymore. And that's as long as you need to cook. It's about two minutes. So we're going to get our potato mushed up there, and we're going to get our delicious butter and milk and garlic in there. And we're going to use some chive, another very classic ingredient for potatoes. And this does not take very long, which is really cool. And it doesn't take very long to cook, so overall, easy dish. We're going to grate up some gouda. You guys could use any cheese. Honestly, cheddar cheese works really nice. But that's all up to you. We're going to get that in there. And Parmesan, the undisputed king of cheeses. That adds a little bit of salty and nuttiness in there. So I didn't add any salt to this. You certainly could. I didn't think it needed it. So we're going to take two eggs and we're going to separate them. We're going to go ahead and put the yolks in with the potato. And then we're going to take the egg whites. And this is where it becomes a souffle. Egg whites, when they cook, they want to puff up. And they create lighter textures in our food. So we're going to take something like a potato, which is dense, and we're going to turn it into something that's light, airy, and just wonderful. It's really cool. And it's super simple. So what I'm doing there is I'm having the egg whites come back down on top of them. So you're, you're kind of going up the bowl and having it come back down. It just increases how quickly you get it done. You could use a, a regular mixer, hand mixer too. Fold it in in thirds. You don't want to over mix it because we want to keep the egg whites still discernible you can see that there's still that bit of white there and that's our egg white just don't over mix it that's all you need to butter it because that's what's going to create the leavening aspect that's going to allow it to go up the sides and you could put a little bit of like breadcrumbs on the inside too for extra texture if you like so when you're putting it in there just be really gentle see i'm just lightly pushing it down that's really important otherwise you're going to smush the egg whites and they won't work as well Topping it with a little Gouda cheese, um, I would suggest not using too much cheese here because then it'll just be one cheesy top and you won't really see the potato as much. A little bit of chive, which is garnish and looks nice. So this tray has been in the oven. It's at 450 degrees. So you want the tray preheated. It activates the cooking process quicker. Really important. That's a key variable. So make sure your tray is hot and your oven's preheated. So 450, it's going to take about 15 to 17 minutes. Depends on the size of your ramekins. Not everyone has the same size ramekin. I'm using 9-ounce ramekins here today. And there you guys have it. We've got a delicious, easy souffle that everyone's sure to love. You can see right there, light and airy. We took potato and we made it into something else. It's amazing. Hope you guys enjoy it. Come check us out on social media. We'd love to have you. Go ahead and subscribe. Hit the like button if you enjoyed. All the instructions, the recipes, the measurements, everything via the website. You guys have the best. Take care.